Chu Sen Go is one of the first choreographers invited to make a work for Misha and the dancers of the American Ballet Theatre. It is, um, to commission the ballet, it is like uh, buying a watermelon without attaching, you know, some watermelon, say, like, oh, it's a good sound, it's, it's, it's really, really sweet, you know. But just to look at the watermelon doesn't give you anything yet, you know. And uh, you, you're buying a, a unknown product, you don't know what would happen, you know. Uh, you have to just trust, uh, trust this man. Two after. The, it's in a phrase of three, but let two go. I think I prefer that, so it goes like this. Uh, Trained as a dancer in Singapore, Chu Sen Go is now chief choreographer of the Washington Ballet. In the past few years, he's been invited to create numerous works for leading companies in Europe and America. Yeah, ready? Do it to that music over there. Actually, I have seen a lot of Chu Sen's work in the past few years. From my point of view, he's one of the uh, few young choreographers who has musical instinct and uh, kind of energy and um, he works so productively with such a happiness, you know. He never suffers, he's very sure okay, what he's doing. The ballet, set to music by Samuel Barber, is created for 13 dancers, including four women, a principal, and three soloists. Today is the first day the women have worked on this section. We are stuck together. And yeah, da, 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 arms, and then go in here, and out, and go. Right, so quick, Elaine. Da, 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 da. Arms, and arms. And Throughout rehearsals, Chu San is helped by ballet master Terry Orr, who must learn all 13 parts. He'll be responsible for the life of the ballet after Chu San Go has moved on. Now, by this time, I would be here, and Becky would be here. By this time, after you've done. Okay, after you've done. Now, then we do the second time. No, no, you've done once. Okay, and come up to about this position, we go round again. Da da di da 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 di da di da 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 like this, right? He comes to the rehearsal knowing already what he would like to see it. He does his homework wonderfully. He prepares a map in his head. Some choreographers say, "I try something like that," and you're trying to. Um, I show him variety uh, of the steps, uh, little jump, it can be done that way, it can be that reverse, with one leg, two, up and down. Um, Chu San knows what he wants. I'm very pre precise in dancing and I, I like to do things as quick, I move very quickly, so that in itself influence what, I, what on my ballets also, especially also in configurations that you can see that the movements are, some of the movements are really sharp and very quick, and it flows a lot. And um, I've always liked ballet that gives a kind of a freedom of flow and freedom of design of dancers' bodies on stage, and an, in a way of an unexpected design. Run. Maybe just a little bit more than the first time, otherwise we can't come back to the same place, yeah? Walk one, 
two, three, hold. Ladies, go, ladies, men. Now take your time. Take your time. One, take two. So slow, so slow. Yeah. Okay. Straight up, body forward. Did One, two, three, four. 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 Five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Okay. Mariana, where were you? Where were you? Principal ballerina Mariana Cherkaski is Misha's frequent dance partner. At this point in rehearsal, the dancers are still struggling to sort out their stage positions. You're waiting for somebody? Uh, yeah, they have to look up for you because there's no way that you're going to look up. It's much easier than you having to look <gasps> like this. If, if they have to look up, they just let. You just have to go for it. And they have to look up for you. You are a principal. You don't look up for the court. <laughs> let them look up. Uh, gentlemen, you know, before, before Mariana comes on, she's not going to look up for you. You have to look up for her. Yeah? You have to look up for her. Okay? When I'm a dancer, I'm just uh, the, the, his instrument, and uh, if a choreographer are not asking for a suggestion, you shouldn't give him any. <laughs> Basically, I based uh, the ballet is based on classical technique, very, very, very uh, classical technique that, that that they do every day in in class, and they have to be very good at at that technique to do this. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the upper body kind of flow with more freedom than, let's say, in Swanwick, in the classical ballet. Good. Chu San Go's movement is an extension you of your classical technique, but it is the use of his upper body more than what the legs and feet are doing that is so interesting and I, his sense of musicality also, the way he brings the music alive with his movement. Um, it's hard to describe because what I love about watching Chu San go is I watch him and I feel like he's creating right at the moment. He hears the music and he starts dancing and he moves and his body just moves in wonderful ways and you look at that and I find I can sort of imitate him but the minute he's not there in front of me, I just feel completely lost. <laughs> Four, five. 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 I, I feel in contemporary works in Chu San Goes Ballet very much so. He choreographs, but he also leaves you that little bit of freedom to, to interpret it. Whereas in classical works, a lot of the choreography is very set. Okay. And, um, you know, it's something from your inside that you bring to that that may make it different or special. But as far as the basic steps, they are set and you have to do them as correctly as possible. Hey, step. Da, da, step. D. Right. Two. Three. Bop. With a piano. For Mariana Cherkaski and the other classically trained dancers, configurations is a long way from Swan Lake, and so is the music. Chu San Go has set his ballet to the piano concerto by Samuel Barber. Barber wrote the concerto in 1961 specifically for the American pianist John Browning. Mr. Barber wanted to write a virtuoso concerto in the 
late 19th century style. And I think any pianist who has tried to play it realizes how difficult it is. And it's not only difficult technically for the pianist, but it's very difficult for the orchestra and very difficult to put the two together. <laughs>